welcome to the real road. So as you can see, I'm in a field. Uh, excuse the crazy hair, I've had it tied up all day because I got up at five o'clock this morning and then um, drove to South Wales, which is currently where I am. It's a bit chilly because it's uh, April the 3rd, I think. Yeah, the third. Uh, we'll go with the third. Um, it's a bit chilly. Uh, I'm camping. Now, why am I camping in April? Um, you'd say normally that's not a big deal, but this April we like supposed to have snow. So if it snows, bring it. I'm doing a firearms training course this week with um, some of the rest of the Eagle Stone management guys. Um, so from my agency, we are going to train with guns and weapons. I'm so freaking excited. It's like, action woman, here I come. Driven down to the south of Wales this morning, getting up at like five, hence why my hair is doing its own thing. It's actually still wet because it's just been up, like in one of those weird get out the way bun things, is what I like to call them. So now we're gonna pitch a tent because we actually have some sunshine. <gasps> uh, I don't know how long it'll last, so we're trying to pitch a tent up now before it gets. Uh, get soggy again so uh, I'll see you when I've done that. It's so windy putting this tent up is an absolute mission we've just about got the outsides up so in a tent no. So we got the tent up but as you could probably hear the heavens have opened and it's absolutely hammering it down but we got the tent up literally just in time. We have no bedding yet it's in the car I'm, I'm not bringing that over until it stops raining because I'm not sleeping in soggy bedding but we have a tent up and uh, fingers crossed it doesn't leak because it's old and I haven't used it in a while. <laughs> Um, yeah, oh, check out the welly game. This is how we hold the doors back to stop like the air flapping in so that it doesn't make the ground tent wet in the middle. I don't know if it'll work. I might get a wet welly. That sounds pretty bad. <laughs> I might get a wet welly, but uh, we shall see. It's finally stopped raining and uh, I don't care that I look like crap because quite frankly, it's cold and it's probably gonna rain again. So the tent, we go, it's up in the background and I've got my dolly mixtures and while we've got some sort of sunshine, I'm gonna go for a walk in the woods. <laughs> Crossing over the train tracks. So weird being out of London and um, actually like just walking over train lines again. Random. Everything is so muddy. I'm so glad that I brought my way. Gigantic puddle of doom. Absolutely. Oh my God, my, oh my foot's like on. Oh, look at that square. <laughs> so it turns out the barbecue I had was absolutely rubbish. It wouldn't start at all. Really bad, probably because it was old. Anyway, I improvised, check this out. We found some wood uh, in the forest, like that someone had left behind whilst foraging earlier on. So I improvised and turned the barbecue tray into an actual fire. Guess how long it took me? About an hour. Ooh. Day one of firearms training is now finished. Um, obviously I can't film it to show you what you guys are doing because we're just learning. I should have some photos from it, so I will pop them in after this somewhere in the video so that you can see a little bit of me in action with my handguns and the pistols, uh, which is what we were doing today, handguns and pistols. Uh, it was really, really good fun. Oh, I love it. I like shooting things. It's definitely entertaining. The course is absolutely fantastic. Um, it's called Firearms Training for Film and TV. And uh, yeah, they're really good, really heavy on the safety, which is what I like. And yeah, loving life. Tomorrow we have rifles and shotguns apparently. So I absolutely cannot wait for that. It's freezing and I'm gonna get in the car and drive back to the tent before it gets too cold because we have no central heating. So yes, updates tomorrow. We did drills on how to stand, our posture, how to kneel, how to walk, and then we shot some blanks. Back at the campsite now, um, it's actually drier than yesterday, which is good, but it's definitely a little bit colder, I think. Um, cooking food, my pasta. Yes, camping pasta. We're having pasta with pesto and cheese. Um, and then again in the morning, another cheese omelette. Uh, we've decided to start packing because we're leaving tomorrow. Um, fingers crossed, it won't rain too much tonight and it will be dry in the morning so we can take the tent down. I've accepted that there's no way we're gonna get the tent down dry, dry. So we've got bin bags ready to put that in. This is gonna be interesting because I live in a two bedroom flat on the second floor with no garden space. So the only way to dry this tent out is probably gonna be to like string it up over the doors on the ceiling and make a sort of like tent tunnel and then put the heating on to dry it out. So 
I might video that for you guys actually just to see how hilariously ridiculous it looks um but yeah fingers crossed it won't be pouring it down in the morning um because then we can take the tent down in the morning before we head off to day two of firearms otherwise we're gonna have to go off do the firearms course come back and then put it down and then we're kind of risking getting home later it might get dark on us it might still be raining Ugh. no <laughs> no hopefully we'll be hatching down in the morning but um, i'm gonna go back to my pasta now because it requires some attention and then we're gonna cover it in cheese so when you emerge from your tent in the morning and there is ice on the outside you can see your breath <gasps> look look at the ice it's actually like <laughs> I think to say it's cold last night, probably like an understatement. Really funny actually, I sent a photograph of myself camping to the, uh, my agency's group chat and my agent was like, guys stay in the hotel room and everyone's like, come in! Hashtag save Lydia. This amused me greatly. The thing is, I've already got the 10 stuff and I have to take it down this morning and actually the skies are completely clear so we can take the tent down without it being covered in rain although it's covered in frozen rain so i might actually get my car ice scraper out and see if that helps it's just something i honestly never thought i would do in my life it kind of, it's kind of working i want to put it down without the water inside because otherwise it's going to melt and then just be soggy as hell <laughs> yeah so this is our morning de-icing the tent with a car de-icer we're on day two of firearms training. So we've been doing rifles today so far. Uh, we've been working with the AR-15 and also the AK-47. Um, I've had an AK-47, one of the older ones, which has been really cool because it has like wooden bits to it. Um, again, if I've got any pictures uh, that I'm allowed to use, I will put those in after this bit of the video. Or you might have seen it already. I don't know, figure out how I edit it because you know, so pro. We did more drills but with the rifles this time. Uh, the AK-47 was really heavy, then we shot some more blanks and then we tackled cornering and how to enter a room. It's really sunny today which is uh, definitely a good thing because it means that I have been able to dry out the tent. Would you like to see how I've dried out my tent? It is literally draped over my car <laughs> but I mean it's actually working. We've dried the whole of the uh, outside. Now it's inside out so we can dry the inside bit. This is really good because it means that I won't actually have to make a tent tunnel at home in my tiny, tiny hallway. So I'm quite happy about that actually. <laughs> the only bits left to dry will be the inner tents, but we folded those like squishy bits inwards. So um, that should in theory be quite easy to do because just clean the outsides and let it air out. And then I won't have to worry about moldy tents. Anyway, uh, we're just having lunch now and then it's going to be back to it. And later on, we're going to be shooting some shotguns and I think they said we get to use live rounds. So. <laughs> That's the end of the course. Uh, back in the car, packed ready to drive home, had the most amazing, amazing afternoon. We did more um, drills with the um, rifles and with the uh, handguns. And we practiced um, using our rifle and then the rifle's out of, um, out of bullets, so it's out of ammo. And then we have to put that down and then get our pistol and then continue firing that. So that was like really advanced stuff. Um, ben, our instructor was saying that like you wouldn't usually learn that for years, but obviously because we're learning to do it for film and TV, we just need to make it look, um, well, look, look good. Then after lunch, after we finished that, the really cool part, uh, shotguns. <sighs> but we got to fire shotguns, live ammunition. Yeah, not just blanks. We had to go with blanks as well. So we had a double barrel um, shotgun, which we fired some blanks on. Um, and then we had a 12 gauge pump action shotgun, um, which we got to fire live rounds on. Um, and we got to fire at like a little round disc target and then at a Coke can. Um, oh, my Coke can's in the boot. I should totally get my Coke can out. Wait, one minute. This was so much fun. And I literally obliterated my Coke can as you're about to see. Okay, right, where was I? Coke can. So this is my Coke can, or what was left of it after I shot it with uh, the shotgun. So <laughs> I'm going to take that home with me as a like little souvenir of destruction. We've got our certificates to say that we have um, passed the course and that we're competent now in firearms training. Um, there's an advanced one which should be uh, in the summer. So if I can save up enough money to do that, then I will. But uh, as of now, I'm going to eat some pasta and I'm going to drive four hours back to London from Wales. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye bye. I honestly can't recommend this course enough for actors. It teaches you exactly what to do, how to do it well, and how to look good doing it.